Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today is a very exciting and different video than I've ever done on my channel. As you guys can tell by the title, I actually went to another makeup artist to go ahead and get my makeup professionally done. This was done in Denver, Colorado when I was on vacation with my husband. I'm actually going to be making this into an entire series by itself where I'm going to be going to a bunch of different makeup artists kind of around my area or wherever I decide to travel in the future. It's always so fun to see as a makeup artist myself, how other makeup artists practice and what products that they use and just different techniques that they do. So I thought it would be really fun to start the series on my channel. So definitely go ahead and subscribe if you guys are not already and you're interested in following this type of content. I also do upload regular makeup artist tips, vlogs, things like that on my channel. Also, I will be doing a full analysis of my whole entire experience and just my opinions and thoughts and everything. Definitely go ahead and stay till the end of the video. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited for it and let's get on to the video. This is Melissa, guys. <laughs> Look at how pretty she is. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be glamming me. We're gonna glam the makeup yes. artist. I really appreciate you doing this. Of course. I was excited when you reached out. You don't get too many inquiries like that. I think I legit scared off so many other people. I mean, it didn't scare me off. I was like, yeah, totally. Well, like, I wanted to be honest too because I didn't want to, you know, just like pretend be, to be a normal client, you know, and, and then show up with yeah, and show up with a camera, camera. And, like, the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> surprise, and it's like, uh, this is not what I signed up for. So that's crazy that you flew all the way down here, so that's exciting. Here with my husband. He has always wanted to go to Colorado. Yes. And he goes, why don't we just stay in Aspen? I'm like, do you want to pay like $3,000 a night for a hotel? It is insane how expensive it is. And it's like a huge difference. So I remember I was up in Aspen one time and I remember I was doing a client and I wanted to grab some McDonald's. I thought it was a good idea. Let me grab some McDonald's. It was for me, my husband, my two kids mm -hmm. paid almost like $72 for just McDonald's. I'm like, we Are you serious? I'm like, we totally could have like eaten at Outback Steakhouse or something. I like the way you filled in my brows. Right, they're fun. Yeah. I was gonna say, I already have them microbladed and everything. Oh, why I got mine um, microbladed, because I'm like, we go to, you know, client's house like really early in the morning, mm -hmm. looking deathly. Yeah. Super early. Oh yeah. And so I was like, I don't want to look too, too crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the reason I got mine microbladed is because it saves me an extra five minutes. I don't necessarily have time to get ready when I'm going on site, like wedding season, mm -hmm. full effect. Yeah. I don't necessarily have time to be like doing full face glam on myself so oh yeah no i literally will show up with just like concealer and mascara sometimes and i'm just like yep i'm here not even that i'm like you're not getting that much from me as long as you can do your job i feel like that's all that really matters and none of my clients have ever said anything to me do you do hair at all i don't i just do them for photo shoots I just do like really curls. like basic curls it's usually for boudoir shoots those are really popular where i'm at yeah i mostly advertise myself as a bridal artist do you ever do like photo shoots or anything a lot yeah i have a few photographers like here in Denver. Denver that I work with, well, Denver, you know, area. So I kind of like just stick with that. But mm -hmm. wedding season, I try to like dwindle away from it. I stress myself out, I feel like, and I don't want to do that. Like I want to enjoy makeup as much and as long as I possibly can. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to get burned out No, because yeah. when you burn yourself out, you're just like, okay, I'm done. So do you normally do weddings then? Or like, what is your main, I guess, clientele that you usually get? Yeah, I'm going to say like weddings, quinceañeras is going to be like 90% oh, okay. of my clientele. I'll have some special events and I'm able to monitor that now because I'm using, I don't know what you use for booking, but I use HoneyBook. I wanted to try it, but I hear it's like a learning curve. You can do everything on there and I love it for that reason. But I mean, yes, it is a learning curve. You guys have any plans today? Any suggestions on like what's around here? It's a uh, yeah. Downtown Denver is like pretty fun to do. Probably pretty much gonna spend like all day kind of around this area. So we flew into Denver and everything, but we were just so concerned about like getting rest at that point in time because we woke up at like 3.30 in the morning. So you were literally traveling all day? Yeah. When it gets dark here so quickly, I noticed. It really does. Yeah, because you guys are two hours behind us so we're both adjusting to the time so we both woke up at like 5 30 this morning so 5 30 would be normal. it would be 7 30 for us <gasps> bye yeah no well we have two dogs that like disrupt us so kind of dogs have. i have a lab and a blue healer Aww. but the lab's a silver lab so she's not like the normal color everybody thinks she's like a weimariner or something i'm dog shopping now Aww. i want like a golden doodle or a labradoodle Aww. those are just the cutest things ever oh my god as puppies they're so cute they're like so huge human-like almost. What ethnicity are you? Where are your family from? So I'm actually adopted. Um, I really? am Chinese. Yeah. I was seven months old when I was adopted. So I'm actually raised by a Caucasian family. And I actually call myself a banana because I'm yellow on the outside and white on the inside. Yes, girl. You make money off of YouTube. I do, yeah. Now, How do you get paid doing YouTube? It's not based on subscribers. It's based on your view count, um, which a lot of people don't realize. Somebody with 6,000 subscribers,
subscribers that does another niche than me could like be making more than me. Finance channels make the most. It's based on your their CPM or RPM. They just changed it recently. How much money you make per thousand views. So some of them have like a really high CPM if they're a finance channel. So you could be making like $15 per like thousand views or something, but then mine's somewhere around like eight or nine. Wow. Um, it just kind of depends like whatever it is. So even if we both had 6,000 subscribers, like that other person could be making like a hell of a lot more than I could. So that's actually how you make money off of it. The only reason that subscribers kind of do matter in the grand scheme of things is because your content's going to obviously be pushed out to people who subscribe to your channel. Yeah. So in all in all, it like does help you and everything yeah. like the likes help you and everything too. Yeah. But it's more so about your view count than anything. Okay. That makes sense. I never knew that. And then I also sell business templates for makeup artists too. You do. Bridal contract templates and like accounting templates and then hopefully launch like online makeup classes. I saw that you did a master class. We did a master class. I heard it went really well. It went super well. No, it did go really well, but I was uh, then asked there if I would do seminars or like webinars, I should say. Where, where do I begin? Like where yeah. do I even like begin, you know? And That's was, what I'm stressing myself out about too. So I'm like, okay, well, let me look into it. Like I didn't say no and I didn't say yes, but I was like, let me look into it. Let me do some research and see how I can manage it. I mean, it would be nice to do. Like, like another extra income. Being a makeup artist is like, I don't know. It's like you have to have some sort of like entrepreneurial mindset too oh, like when you start it. So I'm all about like trying to find like different income streams to have and everything exactly. too. Exactly, like that's what we were just talking about me and this girl. Like she used to do hair a long time ago and she just brought that back in. Yeah. And she was just like, um, I think I'm gonna do hair again. I'm like, we're well, gonna, what? If you can have more than one, more than one avenue, more than one source of income, why not? So how many weddings, I guess, do you, do per year or can you not count at this point I don't, in time I, I don't even think i can count we were averaging like six to eight weddings a weekend oh my gosh yeah how do you even manage that friday saturday and sunday like it's insane and honestly <laughs> i think it really is only like that here in colorado because people want to get married in the mountains i'm like guys it's not that cool i get it though i mean that'd have be beautiful wedding pictures god yeah no i actually had a few handful of brides where they come and then they're like we got married already and we just came to take our picture she came in a dark 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 blue huge wedding dress up against the blue the white snow oh it was amazing it was totally amazing i was like yes girl she's living her also dreams at that point in time literally uh, a second. those would be beautiful photos to see oh they were stunning i love the way the skin's looking here right yeah that it. looks really good i'll do like a full ass beat on myself and then just like have the most natural brides i'm like cool this is fine you're like this is not fun i want to use my new stuff <laughs> totally i always like buy crazy products and i'm like because, you know, I, I like to do crazy makeup on myself, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. But sometimes I do get clients that are just like, no lashes today. I'm like, what do you mean no lashes? It's like, how do you do a makeup look without yeah. lashes? I'm like, you're going to look bald. I mean, I'm all about hygiene. You know, and I get like there's certain things that, you know, may make things easier for you or whatnot. But if it's risking, you know, people like hygiene and everything, it's a major no-no. Well, I mean, we are going through COVID right now and you're really going to blow on this lady's face. Cool. I get like a lot of people don't believe in it. I get a lot of people don't think it's serious. I get it. But... You don't know that. So you always have to be like respectful of you know, like your clients who is around you. Yeah, for sure. Yep, we're good. Cool. No, I have like really tiny bottom lashes, so they're probably not gonna be sticking in anything. Not, like, <laughs> no, there. to be totally honest, like I don't even usually put mascara on the bottom because like I can't even deal with it. Oh no, you're good. We'll probably just run it across. And yeah, that's it's it. good, whatever. We'll run it across. You know, I've actually found that for people that have like baby tiny lashes, the brow spoolies, they work for really <gasps> Baby body I didn't even eyelashes. think about that. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't even think about using that. That's yeah. such a good idea. Mm -hmm. And that works for you? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Like, Mothers of the Bride. When you go in with normal disposables, huge. they're just huge. and you just, They are huge. Yeah, so I just use them on the top and then the brow spoolies on the bottoms. I love that, honestly. I always see, like, you know, sometimes art makeup artists, like, take offense when you're like, hey, why don't you try this? But I'm like, no, give me all the advice you can give me. Like, I don't understand why people take offense to it. And then I hate the makeup artists that don't like helping other makeup artists out. Like, well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, what do you, why are you shielding information? What's the big secret here that's what i want to know i know it's like we all started off in the same place we were all lost puppies when you first began like it'd kind of be nice to have a mentor <laughs> and that's why i dedicated my youtube channel to it too because i get a lot of people that are just like oh my gosh like makeup artists in my area are so mean like they don't <laughs> ever share like any information or anything and i'm like i don't understand why because it's like they either. started off in the same place <laughs> you ever get that client that goes i'm like stop <laughs> moving so i had to come up with like a, a process to tell them like Smile with the mouth closed so you don't talk. Yep. So bad. I remember one day I was like, okay, lady, like, she was just like, I, I just don't know how you want me to do me like this or like this or like that. I'm like, just smile with your mouth closed at this point. So that's, and that's what been, has been working. Mm -hmm. So I was like, that's what I'm just going to tell my clients for now. I'll just smile with your mouth closed. Well, I usually have a smile anyways because your lip makes a different shape on the bottom. Right. If you don't have a smile, it's more taut that way. So you can line your lips a lot better that way too. Do you have like a favorite lipstick palette that you... you recommend because it, they are so hard to find and i'm sick of buying individuals okay have you ever tried denessa myricks before 
I've never even heard of that. Okay, it's a pro brand lady that did this brand and everything and she makes amazing products. She does, oh, you probably love this. She does these color fix foils where they like dry down like absolutely matte, but they're like really metallic and they're liquid. Basically like the Stila eyeshadows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in a squeeze tube, so it's really makeup artist friendly because yeah. she is a makeup artist too. Yeah. Squeeze that in a palette and like you put it on people's face and they're like dry down. They also make them in neutral colors that are matte, so you can do them for like skin tones. They also make lip colors that yeah. are basically like glazes. But she has these like really amazing lipsticks though. So they're not long lasting, like they're more of like a thicker, like creamy kind of formula. But they but, come but in like they come in a packet. They come in a palette. And they're plastic packaging, so they're really lightweight to carry around, but they have a neutrals palette and they also have like a bold, bold like kind of color palette too. I'm gonna if you yeah, if you can leave me that info so I can Yeah, and you can get a discount because it's a pro artist brand. You can get like I think it's like 30% off or something. Um, I will hook you up, girl. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna i I'm literally subscribing from now on to the channel just because I'm sure you put all this out there. Already. I do, yeah. Which lip oil do you use? Um, I like the Ulta, just the Ulta Beauty. Okay. Just regular, yeah. I started using the long come juicy tubes. Do you like it? They're so good. They also have this like fruity kind of scent, but they're a little bit lip plumping too yeah ulta stuff like for like mine or something like that i don't think it's actually bad mm -hmm. it's actually pretty good yeah Makeup? yes <sighs> yeah it looks really good i love it I love this glitter that you use on here. What'd you use? It's the color pop. Oh, is it really? I love color pop. It doesn't make that. Where to put it here? It is. All right, guys, I just got done with my makeup and Melissa was so sweet. If you guys are in the Denver, Colorado area, I'll leave her information down below. I usually don't go this full coverage on foundation, but I don't know. It turned out really good and it was kind of something different. Okay, time for my little analysis on this. I felt like in true Julie Ruby video fashion, I should probably do a deep dive into this and kind of just tell you my honest thoughts and opinions about how the makeup application went. First of all, I want to heavily thank Melissa for taking the time out of her day to do this. I really, really appreciate it. I really enjoyed the overall experience. I really like the fact that she asked me to send reference photos to her to really make sure that I got what I wanted. So I actually ended up sending her a picture of her own work. It actually helps us a little bit more, or at least me personally as an artist. I know a lot of clients don't think about that, but it is more of a compliment if you are shown your own work for reference rather than just finding one off of Google. You know what I mean? So I did end up finding a photo from her personal portfolio to be able to show her and she replicated it to a T. I knew she was a full coverage glam makeup artist. I knew she wasn't a natural makeup artist like me, so I definitely expected that going in. The only thing is when you do a very full coverage look like that, you almost have to match foundation 100% correctly because it does have a tendency to look more off by undertone and also by color. Most everybody just automatically puts a more yellow tone foundation on me because yeah, I do have a more yellow undertone, but I also do have more of like a pinkish undertone right here in my neck. So if you turn my foundation too yellow it makes my neck look really pink the lighting that she had i don't know if you guys noticed in the video or not but it was a floor length hollywood vanity mirror and the bulbs were very yellow toned like it looked more yellow in the video than it actually was just to let you guys know when i got in the car i could tell that it matched me a little bit more that's why my car footage i showed you guys afterwards looked a little bit more normal because it was i want to say maybe she was like about half a shade off but to be completely honest she matched me like pretty dang good for the lighting that was in there then also the thing that i was most impressed about was that she could do Asian eye shapes. There's a ton of makeup artists out there that think they can do really good at Asian eye shapes and they really can't. Like, I think I have every right saying that because I am a makeup artist and I am of Asian descent, but there's a ton of makeup artists that just have no clue like how to do it. A lot of people try to blend it all the way up until like where a normal crease sits, but my normal crease sits right about here. People just blend their darker shadow all the way up to here. So when I open my eyes completely, I literally have shadow up to my eyebrows and they for some odd reason think that's a good look. I have no idea. I really respected her for the fact that she actually has a really wide variety of clientele. I noticed she had a bunch of different skin tones and also age ranges on her portfolio, which I really, really admire as an artist. Overall, the whole entire experience was really lovely. We had a lot of fun to talk about. She was a super amazing person and her techniques are bomb. Like she literally has super great application techniques. I did not have a single complaint about her actual artistic ability. Thank you again, Melissa, for taking the time to do this and letting me record and everything because I really appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please again, go ahead and subscribe subscribe and like this video. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.